Hello friends, I'm Praveen Khetan and in today's video we will learn about calculating bond price using BA2 plus financial calculator. So this video can be helpful for FRM students and CFA students. Okay, and how you can use that? Let's understand how to calculate or solve this problem on calculator. So the problem here is, it's a typical problem you may have in exams. Calculate bond price of thousand dollar face value so this is the amount you receive on maturity which pays a coupon okay uh, at nine percent semi-annually okay it, so the coupon rate is annualized and the payment is basically semi-annual okay and the interest rate or the yield is basically six percent per annum so with the there is a very huge gap into the discount rate and you can say the payment so the bond price will be definitely higher than the face value okay so if we use the same equation and put that into our excel we get the value this is 1223 dollars and 16 cents so this should be the bond price which is paying you around nine percent coupon rate okay so to calculate on the financial calculator let's you know prepare the inputs so the face value here is basically thousand dollars okay and the coupon rate or you can say the payment amount pmt you will enter as uh, uh, nine percent of the total value so that means thousand divided by you can say or the nine percent you are receiving every six months so nine percent divided by two into the face value so around 45 dollars you will receive every six months okay so that is the payment you will receive on this bond and the maturity is 10 years so total number of payments would be around 10 into 2 now why 10 into 2 because it is 10 years maturity and payment is meant two times a year so total payment is 20 now you will put the interest value so that is the iy so iy here would be how much six okay and also we have to know how many times the payment is made so the py value would be around two times per year so this is how you use the values you create the values or uh, I'm just writing these value for your you know, to understand things easily now I'll put these values in financial calculator and you can easily get the answer so prepare the financial calculator first of all click the second button you will see second written here and then clear TVM so you must clear the TVM before entering the values otherwise you may have wrong answers now you start inputting the values so starting with like py so press second key again and then press py and see what is the value here it is two so you can if it is two that it's okay because you already have two here otherwise you want to input two press two and then press enter so the value has taken the calculator has taken the value now press the second key and quit so the py value is set now remaining value you can put in any order you want so let's suppose i'm putting the face value or the future value you're going to receive that is thousand dollars so thousand dollars and the future value then put the payment that is 45 that is payment and then you put the 20 as number of period n and then you have iy that is six and you put the iy so all the values i have entered into the calculator now compute and press what do you want the present value or the current market price of the bond so click the pv and you get how much 1223.16 so this is the exactly value we calculated on excel also okay you can use the present value formula on excel i have used the present value formula on the excel to get this value you can use the same present value formula to get the bond price here so you can see here we received the bond price now what about if the yield here is less as compared to 
the I'm sorry the coupon rate is less than the interest rate so let's suppose the coupon rate here we have selected that is 9% let's suppose it is 5% which is less than the one price so if we put 5% here we get 925 dollars okay which is less than the face value okay so all things things remaining the same we simply have reduced the coupon rate and the bond price reduced now let's input this value again into the financial calculator and check are we getting same value here so i'll go to the financial calculator click the second key clear tvm okay and clear the work here now we will enter again the py is already entered we don't have to enter it again so enter the fv that is face value 1000 and uh, then enter the face value and then we have 25 dollar which is the payment and then you have 20 which is n and then we have 6 which is iy okay and now compute okay and press the present value okay so that is 925.61 the same amount you are getting here similarly let's see if there is a situation where we are not receiving semi-annual we are receiving annualized payment so let's suppose if the payment is made annualized okay so payment is annualized so here in this case the amount which we are receiving you know once a year we will divide it so we don't divide it here and keep it same so that means i'm sorry so we don't divide it so the total amount you're going to receive here is 50 dollars per annum the payment is annualized okay so now the number of period n will be 10 again here the interest would be 6 and the payment would be 2 now also we have to adjust here this formula to get the value so what i do here is simply we will adjust the value so the interest rate is basically six percent the npr is basically number of period is 10 and then the payment amount we know that is 50 okay simple so what we do here is enter so the amount coming is 926 dollars right so which is a little more than 925 why because it is not compounded twice it is once a year now input all these values into the calculator and see if we match the value here so press the second key clear tvm clear your worksheet now we know the py is already entered we have entered once so we put the remaining inputs thousand and that is the face value or the future value here and then 50 dollar which we receive into terms of payments and then 10 is your number of times compounded that is 10 and then six percent is your iy and i'll click the compute button and the face value i'm sorry the result is differing here so let's check out what mistake we did in calculation so let's again recalculate it press the second clear tvm okay we we actually did the py2 py is not 2 py is 1 okay so that is the mistake we did here okay so again i'm clearing the tvm here clear the worksheet now start with the py press second py py is 1 enter okay then press the second hold on hold on hold on let me restart it clear the tv clear the work press second clear tvm now let's start it so let's enter the py first so press the second py py is one check out for the cy that is one okay then press the second and quit so now py is set now input all the values so thousand okay that is what is my future value then we have 50 we're gonna receive in a year that is my payment 
and then the 10 is your number of times a payment is made that is in once in a year and then 6% is your interest rate and then calculate the compute and the present value now it is coming 926.39 that means almost for zero okay so that's how you calculate the value of bond so in the first attempt we actually uh, made wrong input we kept the py to 2 which is actually 1 so we had wrong result so this kind of mistake we uh, make so it's better that follow all the steps properly otherwise you may have wrong values so keep practicing guys and in the next videos we will discuss about how to calculate the interest rate or the yield